Welcome back awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. I'm very excited today because I'm looking at my first fresh retro figures. I'm going to look at uh, MP01 Brave 13. Brave 13 Team Universal Types Mech Arms. One if scale action figure. This is just Universal Types Mech Arms. Zero one looks pretty cool. See some nice accessories in the back there. And also the number two, which is also blue. Brave 13 MP02. Brave 13 Team Universal Types Heavy Mecha Arms. Uh, one thing to scale action figure. Uh, so this is the heavy type. So it's much more brutish. Looks pretty damn nice there. And again, looks like some really good accessories on the back. So let me unbox these, turn the camera around, and then we can have a look at these in detail. Let's get into it. So here we are. I've set up the diorama bases and connected them together. My first time doing this with fresh retro diorama stuff. It's quite intuitive, and I will say this. I prefer it to Joy Toys Mecha Depot. Uh, the reason why, there's two reasons. Uh, before I go into the reasons, Joy Toy Mecha Depot stuff is uh, weathered, so it's got a really nice weathered sort of um, used military sort of look, which is fantastic. These aren't weathered, but they have that that film with that joy from that nostalgia from you when you were a kid. You know, it's what me like over forty years ago getting a toy of bright colours. Uh, but anyway, the reasons why I prefer a it's based on squares which means it's much easier to connect things and get things to work out. When you've got it based on rectangles like Joy Toy has, and the rectangles aren't exactly two squares, it's really hard for things to match up sometimes. And B, the connection system on these, I think, is far superior. You can see the teeth here. They go into slots. Next part goes in. Uh, the Joy Toy system is, is pegs and holes. And I've had at least five or six pegs break off. Now, yes, I could use a hairdryer to heat them up to put them in and take them off. But I don't want to. It's a toy. Um, these far less likely to break. Far simpler system. Okay, so the diode pieces. You've got a base. You see these clear pieces here. All these silver pieces. They're actually metal. And they've got magnets in their feet. He's not stepping on his... Uh... There you go. On the metal one now, he is nice looking die piece i do like that a lot so let's look at the uh figures so this is the universal one hit first the universal mech arms comes with this nice looking backpack which does there we go come apart and it's just two-tone but looks really good has this really nice looking gun Again, two-tone. There's no drilled barrel, but we'll forgive that. Looks fantastic. Has whatever this is. A grenade. Yeah, grenade of some sort. Looks great. Has this combat knife. That could have been two-tone, I think. But it still looks nice. Nice sculpt. And then another sort of assault rifle. Looks a bit more contemporary. Again, it's nice. Looking two-tone. If we look at the bigger one, this is the universal type, and this is the heavy, heavy mecha arms. Comes with this awesome, awesome gun here. With this, I'm guessing it's got a. Uh, there we go. With a joint, jointed handle here. It's like a heavy flamer or something. Looks fantastic. This huge double barrel pistol. Just wish they were drilled in the barrels. Again, two-tone looks amazing. And this nice-looking two-tone assault rifle. And this rather chunky-looking backpack. Stroke. I say that's rockets, but stroke power cell, maybe. Very, very nice. So let's look at the figures. So the universal base uh, mech arms. This is the uh, normal type. Looks really nice. Two holes in the back for attaching the... Uh, see the pins? Backpack, I'm guessing that way or that way. Yeah, I think at the top, bar at the top. So let's have a look. We can try both ways. Simple push in. That's nice and secure. Um, I'm guessing you see the little uh, grooves by my thumb. 
here and here that we can put weapons in there. Uh, that would make most logical sense. I'm not sure how yet because I'm not even had a play. Let's have a quick look. And the plastic is really nice on these. Let me take it off first. That's probably why it is uh, detachable. Whether this is for the guns, or maybe it's not. Or whether it's for the grenade and a knife, which might make a bit more sense. Grenade, very nice. Knife, a bit more difficult to attach in there, maybe. But maybe not. Yeah, just not my uh, camera now, sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, the knife fits and the uh, grenade fit. Oh, the knife just fell out off, I said that. Let's just see if I can get it back in again. Grenade is a really nice fit. The knife maybe the other way might be better. And then will that fit back in this way? Let's have a look. There we go. So very nice for stowing his knife and grenade. I like the fact that it's well thought out that this comes off. Let's have a quick try with the uh, guns. I think that might be a bit more difficult. Won't go that way, that's a bit too slender maybe, yeah. but maybe it will go this way. Hmm. That one's not going to fit, and I think they're the, both the same size. So that gun is a no from what I can tell at the moment, and this one is a... Yeah, probably a no too. In fact, I will quickly check the box and have a check. Let's have a look. Not that I can see on the uh, box art, but it's a fantastic they can attach the knife and a grenade there. Okay, so I will take that off for the time being. Uh, let's have a quick look at the figure, his articulation. So, his... Are we bright enough? Do we need extra light? I think we should be okay. His head has a left and a right, up and down, side to side. Shoulders all the way around. Um, out, he gets 90, over 90 degrees. And you can see that the pins do pop out. But they are long, so you've got quite a good range before they will pop, which is good. Uh, there is single bicep joint, but he does get over 90 degrees. Is there a there is a bicep swivel, which is nice. Wrist, uh, yeah, wrist is fantastic. It's barbell into the forearm. So he's got a good motion there all the way around. And he can turn. And it looks like there's articulation on the fingers. No, you don't quite, yeah. So the fingers can come in like this. Really nice. I do like this a lot. Very good. Then the upper body, forwards, backwards. Left and right, he can turn. Waist, he can turn. Forwards is good. Backwards is good. Full splits, you can't get better. Uh, outwards will be full splits. This is fantastic. Uh, thigh twist, single kneecap, but he does get over 90 degrees. We come to the feet, they turn, which is great. They swivel, which is great. An amazing tippy toe. And a not bad dorsi flexation. Ugh. I've got to say, I am sold. I think these are amazing. Now, what the only thing I say, um, there's nothing I dislike. However, it just feels a bit light. This one, obviously, not as much. I prefer something that feels just a little bit heavier. But having said that, this the sculpt is amazing. The look is amazing. The articulation is on point. I love the fact they got that articul those articulated fingers there. Uh, the so it's uh, the trigger finger doesn't, but the other three do. Okay, let's see how he holds his equipment. So let's try with this gun first of all. Now the only thing with these sort of fingers, often you have to get the fingers closed first before you put the gun in, so you get a tight enough grip. Because if that joint loosens up over time, it's going to be quite difficult. Um, holds it well. Finger is just about... There we go. Finger is now in the trigger. 
guard. You can see it there. He holds that very, very well. But he just popped out. That's the only thing with these uh, articulated style uh, fingers. He does have actually pretty good shoulder roll as well. I didn't mention. So he should actually hold this as good as pretty much any Acid Rain world figure. And I say Acid Rains, they are currently the best for holding their weapons, generally speaking. Oh yeah, he does hold that nicely, has to be said. Very, very nice. If I look at the other gun, he will hold the other gun just the same. The stock isn't any longer. And then the knife obviously should be quite easy. Just getting his hand to close around it. And then once he's done that, be easy to take his arm out first. And then it's all good. The other thing is, I'd imagine these are quite easy to pop out of joints. You want to do customs, mix and match with Fresh Retro or with other lines. These would be fantastic for it. So that's the Universal Type uh, Mecha Arms. I think he's fantastic. Really, really nice. Let's look at the uh, Universal Type Heavy Mecha Arms. This guy is a brute, is a big boy. I do love this color scheme. He is massive. He looks good. I'll do a size comparison in a moment. Yeah, he's going to have, and the thing is, for his size, you just know already he's going to have amazing articulation. In fact, he might have extra articulation that this guy didn't have. Then spot that on this one. Let's see how that as well. Okay, there's also, where they got the waist turn, they've got forwards, backwards there, not just the trunk. So there's an extra point of articulation. These are super articulated. So his backpack, there's nothing to be taken off. Again, it's two holes. On his back so you can just slot that in and he looks rather big the only thing I don't like about that backpack is that if these hollow pieces here and because it's so wide you can see them when he's got it on but other than that is is good let's look at his articulation and having these uh, square sort of holes by the uh, crutch, that means you can attach other things there. So head left, right, up, down. There's a side to side. Arms all the way around. Shoulders go out. He's got a joint in his big shoulder here as well. And they, oh, he's got really good. His armor is articulated as two. So he gets over the flat. Fantastic. Um, and I reckon if you pull, yeah, the joint would come out as well. Bicep over 90 degrees, which is good. Um, he has a, does he have a bicep turn? Yeah, bicep turn. His hand, again, it's the barbell. You can see it joining here and here. But it's more limited. He doesn't have so much of a turn. He does, but it's a bit stiffer. More limited than this one. He has different articulation. He doesn't have that one fixed finger. All his fingers articulate uh, together. Thumb is fixed. Upper body, trunk, side to side. There is a good backwards and forwards. He can turn, turn from the waist. The waist has a forwards and backwards too. Look at that. Really good forwards. Full split sideways. Full splits forwards. He's just amazing. Single kneecap over 90 degrees. Feet turn. Okay, swivel's a bit stiff, but they do swivel. And he has a nice tippy toe. And his dorsiflexation is much better than the other guy. I mean, look at that. It's just ridiculous. And having that magnetic feet meeting actually hold that pose. I think these are amazing figures. I can see me maybe ditching a line and going full on, full in for a fresh retro. I am behind on lots of their sets. 
And for that, I have to apologize to Fresh Retro. I am now a converted a believer. These are amazing. Mm. I love the look. And even and you can even weather them up if you wanted. Okay, so his weapons look amazing. Let's look at his pistol first. This is just a brute of a gun. Look at that. This is massive. So let's get him holding that. Oh, we'll close his hands a little bit first. Ooh, actually, nice to get his hand in. Okay, he holds that very well, has to be said. Running and shooting. Very, very nice indeed. Okay, let's look at the next one. Assault rifle. Nice long handle. So it's going to be easy for him to uh, hold it. Maybe a bit long for some other figures you want to chop and change. Come on, get in there. Again, holds it very, very well. The stock is not over long. So he can get, he should get rather. His hand's a bit stiff. There we go. Should be able to get it to hold in two hands. Very nice as well. One leg in here. Holds that very, very well. Uh, let's get his last one. This is the big dude, the big brute of the gun. I'm... Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Um, let's see how we can hold this one. This might be a bit more difficult to sort out, but let's try. Okay, one is in. Let's get his hand twisted around. Let me just off camera to make it slightly easier for me. Then you guys can see in a moment. Bit more difficult because getting the angle right of the other handle, it takes a bit more uh, work. But oh my, is that worth it? That is definitely worth doing. He just looks amazing. So nice. In fact, let me take off the magnet and put him further back so you can get a slightly better look. But obviously, he's more harder to balance without having his feet secured. And now he's let go of the handle. There we go. He looks great. We take this guy, get him a bit and change his gun around, get a bit of a better pose. Then what I'll do is I will do a comparison with some other figures. We get an idea of their scale with some other um, some other um, one eighteen scale lines. Let's get his backpack sorted first. In fact, he may be, this guy may be to get a gun in that slot there. Um, let me have a quick try off camera. Because maybe I'm telling you guys wrong things. That does hold it quite nicely. And it's not too difficult to take out or put in. So he can do it, which is good. Well thought out system. Uh, this smaller one I've got my hands now, his joints just feel a little bit loose. A bit too loose, perhaps, for my liking for a brand new toy, but not loose to the point that he can't hold a pose. You know, he does hold his his poses particularly well still, particularly well, which is great. Okay, so I'll move the camera back a little bit. Okay, let me just quickly grab a couple of figures, and I'll be back, and we'll have a look at the uh, size comparison. Okay, I'm back. I have picked a variety of different brands of 118 scale and one 160 scale mech, which I use a 118 scale to give you an idea of the size. First, I'll start off with the uh, uh, Joy Toy Warhammer 40k, which is in a tower over our little guy. But be interested to see how he scales with the big guy. That's pretty good scaling, to be fair. If I move him over. You can also take these magnets off if you don't want them actually on the um, 
on the bases, which is nice, but it will leave a sort of a little space there. You can see that they scale very, very well. If I grab an acid rain world figure, but I've put a different head on this. Um, this head is from a e epoch, yeah, epoch capsule toy Android, one of the skeleton ones. And you see that they scale well with acid rain world. If I get that 160 mech, which is a bit big because it's uh, a mech. Uh, let's see how that scales. Scales really well. Again, if I take that mech out. Let's use, let me see. I'll use a Fortnite custom that I've practically finished now. It's a bit of more work, a bit of painting. Uh, I've done a bit more to the head since last time. Let's stick him up here. Yeah, they scale fantastically. They are well thought out, well designed. I think these are absolute winners. Definitely recommended. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and find the money to go all in on these. These are fantastic looking figures. Really, really good job by Fresh Retro. Definitely a company worth following. They've got mechs on the way. They've got human, uh, human figures or humanoid figures, not just a. Uh, these sort of robot mecha types as well um, and again having these bases where you can do a dynamic posing and running because they can have magnets is such a great idea you can't do this it's really hard to do a pose like this if you haven't got a magnetic base Fantastic figures, well, well thought out. We can hold it, and definitely worth investing your hard earned toy money in. I think these are great. Please like, share, subscribe, click on the notification icon for the latest like, news, reviews, etc. And I'll be back soon with more awesome action video reviews for you guys. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye bye.